bigger. Interesting, man. Interesting. Well, let's uh, let's jump into it, man. There's so much to talk about, Lonzo. Uh, probably the biggest. And before we do, I'm going to say a shout out to the chat, fam. I see you guys already active in the chat. If you have any questions for the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop, post them in the chat. I'll copy and paste them, and we will definitely get to them the second half of the show. But um, I want to talk about one of the biggest stories this week, Lonzo, in the hip hop world. The Young Dolph murder trial is underway. Um, and let me remind you and everyone uh, out there who don't remember Young Dolph or don't remember the story, he was the one, they compared him to Nipsey Hussle, the Memphis Nipsey Hussle. He, uh, he was shot 22 times inside of a cookie shop. He, um, yeah, he was buying real estate, you know, and, and just doing a lot for the community. So he was really seen as a good figure, but he had a lot of enemies. Hence him getting shot 22 times in a cookie shop. But uh, the trial just started this week. And off top, Lonzo, there were several people involved in the hit. And everyone is snitching. Off top. This is, this is going to be a good one. In fact, the star witness is the main shooter. Um, they knew Dolph would be in town. They were supposed to kill Dolph at a Thanksgiving turkey giveaway later that week. But they saw his car, a big-ass camouflage wrap truck that nobody could miss beforehand they followed him to the cookie shop and that's where his life ended but um the person who pulled the trigger was supposed to be at his daughter's birthday party that day lonzo but he decided to take Dolph's life instead when asked by the prosecutors so you decided to go kill someone instead of attend your your daughter's birthday party his response was i wanted to make it rain for her literally he said that um a little bit more before we jump in and get your opinion. Not only that, he was promised $40,000, Lonzo, as one of the people who put his uh, put this hit together. However, he was only paid $800 before he was arrested and now facing a life sentence. There's a lot to unwrap on that, and there's more to go. But just hearing all that, just off top, what are your thoughts, man? Man, it seems to me that stupid is, uh, is the class that he graduated from. I don't, I don't understand why the... Um, the impulse to make it rain at your daughter's daughter's birthday party is worth you giving up your life and taking somebody else's. I, I don't understand that. It makes no sense. You want to make it rain at your daughter's birthday party so you wouldn't kill somebody earlier, got $800 on a $40,000 tab, but now you're facing life in, in, in the penitentiary or if not the death penalty. But that makes sense to somebody. I was telling somebody the other day, man, in fact, it was today. We were talking about street credibility. Talking about street cred. Uh, a lot of brothers do a lot of things for street cred. Do you realize that street cred, in some cases, in most cases, is like a cryptocurrency. It only has value in certain places. It has it has no value outside of that particular circle. For example, I got a cryptocurrency. Somebody sold me a cryptocurrency, man, about three, four years ago. Man, give me this two hundred dollars. It's gonna be. It's gonna go up. It's gonna compare to Bitcoin. So I got this digital wallet, right? In this digital wallet, I'm worth a billion dollars. I can't spend this shit nowhere. Okay, it has no value. Now, what I could do is sell some of my cryptocurrency to somebody else and get converted that way. But I can't go to the store. I can't buy no houses. I can't buy no car. I can't buy no boat. I can't even pay a light bill with the sum of gun, Doc. But this is has a value to it. It's the same way you look at street, street cred. It, it's only in the circle of the people that gives it value that it has value to. In the real world, it has no value. Now, you can go to jail. You may have a little value in jail, but your, but your life won't have no value. And these are the kind of things that these brothers have become immune to or just, I don't think they, I don't even know if they really care or not. But yeah, it's 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 like having a, a currency with extremely limited value. So now he's done. Yep. Yeah. Done. yeah. There's 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 more to it because um, we're gonna wrap this thing. Uh, Big Juk, who is Yo Gotti's brother, who is the enemy of the person who was killed in the cookie shop. Big mm -hmm. Juk is the one that put out the hit, Lonzo. And um, he literally did it on live. There's a video you can go on YouTube. It's everywhere now where he basically said 100K. Blah, blah, blah. He said it in a, in a roundabout way. But he put a $100,000 hit on, uh, on, on uh, uh, Young Dolph, who, who was shot. Okay. Um, once the uh, hit was complete, the shooter texted Big Juk, the person who organized this. He texted him D-O-L-T-H. 
letting Jick know it was him. <clears throat> okay. Now, yes, talk to us about this new generation of dumb Negroes that are doing crimes and literally spelling it out for the feds on their phone and on Instagram Live. Dude, it's, 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 real, it's real hard to explain stupidity. I've tried many times in the past. And it, my brain, my brain can't go to the level of stupidity. Stupid, you have to be to do something that stupid. Do you realize every text, every phone call, everything you do on a phone, there is a digital footprint? You race it, you want to. The, your, your wife won't find it, your girlfriend won't find it, your boyfriend won't find it. But if the fans want to go find it, they can find it. In fact, they know where you called them from. They know everything about their call when it's done on the phone. They know exactly what tower you were when they texted and they, they when you sent that text. They know what the fight, they know your carrier, they know your phone number, they know everything. And they can take the time that you sent that text versus the time he was he was found dead or shot and put you in that vicinity. Bam. Dig, the digital footprint is non-erasable. And these folks, for whatever reason, don't watch enough television. They need to watch more TV and get off the goddamn internet. That's what they need to do. Watch some some CSI, some uh, some uh, uh, SUV, okay, SVU. You, you, man, watch some TV, man. You might learn something. That shit is real. That's they, that's how they catch you. Ring cameras, bank cameras. Um, yesterday, my son had a little fender bender, and I look up. Brother come out, hey, out of the woodwork with a suit in town. Hey, man, I see you had an accident. Hey, you know, we had an accident. Well, I know he, he, he probably tied into the uh, to the tow truck or the police scanner. And he says, well, there was no witness. All the witnesses left. Well, we can go pull the cameras from the various spots. And, you know, there's a camera right there. You know, so everything you do is on camera. So even when you think you got away, you're still being recorded. And this is something that these fools, these they don't have the, they don't have the wherewithal to understand that. And that's sad because they're independent penitentiary. Yep, for a very long time, man. Now let's talk about the snitching aspect of this, Lonzo. You know, everyone's snitching, man. The star witness was the main shooter. Um, talk to these kids out there who say, man, my homie ain't never going to snitch on me. If we go down, we going down together, homie. We going to do all the time. That's my dog. You ain't never going to snitch on me, man. Talk to these kids out there, man. It's two times you, you can't believe a, a word a brother is saying. When you're trying to get laid or trying to stay out of jail, they ain't going to tell every time. They're going to lie. Brother going to jail or trying to get out of jail, going to say whatever he got to say to get out of jail. If he's trying to get us some underwear of a female, he's going to tell you anything he, anything you want to hear to get in them drawers. Okay? I'm keeping it 100. That's the two times you can't believe a word they say, or they will tell you whatever you want to hear to get in or out of a situation, depending on where they are. And that's just, that, 